Hello YouTube and other Mr. Bennett's History Minutes fans as well as our uh, AJ Bennett music fans. Um, so today I finished working on this little backpacker banjo and I made a little five string gourd. Um, first five string gourd one that I've made in a while and the first one I've made using a board for a neck on um, a five string anyway. Um, I kind of took kind of my design between my minstrel style gourd banjo or what I call a minstrel style because I added the, the scroll for the peg head um, and the old plantation style banjo um, that also kind of lines up with the old Hans Sloan, Hans Sloan drawings from Jamaica in the 1600s. Um, anyway, this one's going to be for a buddy of mine. He might see this video before he gets the banjo, but maybe not. Um, if he doesn't, it'll be a good surprise. If he does, it might still be a surprise. I'm going to tell you which buddy of mine it is that's getting this banjo. Um, anyway, um, so I know where the gourd came, I think he'll appreciate where the gourd came from, where the hide came from, um, and where even this piece of leather came from, from a former boss of ours boot that he gave me. But anyway, too much information. Uh, this is just a simple little five string banjo. Um, I've got it tuned roughly to an open G. I ran into some problems because the board, the neck is just a board. I did not get that much of an angle there. That's why this leather strap's here to make sure that it's putting pressure on the other side of the nut. The nut is deer bone, um, but to make sure that it's holding that down so that everything stays where it needs to and the strings don't pop up out of the nut there. So here's a little sourwood mountain. something just try it and you'll make something um, so uh, check out my other video from a couple months ago on uh, the gourd banjo on the gourd banjo that I've made my 18th century style banjo um, that I sometimes take to events and play 18th century style stuff on it so um, if you're interested in one of these and would like to have a bespoke gourd banjo Send me a message, um, and I will. See, we'll see if we can get in touch. See if we can figure something out. I'd be glad to build you a banjo, uh, especially if you can supply some of the materials or at least funding for that. And we'll talk prices and whatnot. Um, but super fun instrument to play. It was really easy to craft. Or fairly easy. I mean, I've been working on this one for a little bit, but I think it's got a pretty good sound for this little thing here. I did put some f holes in it. I did better on this one than I did on that one, but it's a work in progress. I hope that my buddy that gets this um, won't mind too much. Put a little decorative scroll in there. Stained it with um, a vinegar iron acetate, I think is how you say it, um, or seed it. I don't know. Anyway, that kind of stain that I made with some vinegar and some old nails. Um, and then over top of that, I put a walnut stain on it as well. This is just literally just old walnuts and water. that. Uh, it's been sitting for a couple of years and it's pretty stout. It's probably fermented pretty well, but it makes a good wood stain. Um, same one that I used on my rifle that I did a few uh, months ago. Hide's just a squirrel hide. Like I said, this came out of one of my former boss's boots. He gave me an old set of cowboy boots. Um, and uh, I just found other uses for them. Um, so I think my buddy that gets this, I think he'll appreciate it. Um, like I said, I call this the backpacker model. Um, got a hole there that originally was going to be where the tuning peg for the fifth string was, but then I ran out of board everywhere else and I'd already cut this. So that will be for a sling 
swivel or a strap swivel really on this I think so um, thanks for watching stay tuned for future videos don't stay too tuned because I don't know when I'm gonna make a video again but anyway have a good one and keep on learning